What's up everyone? So welcome back. We got another busy one this week. We're currently preparing to go to the Nürburgring. We're leaving tomorrow. Uh, but before we go there, we're up here in County Donegal in Killybegs. Actually bringing the RT5. We're bringing it back to the guys here, trailer stuff. And we're actually trading it in for a fresh one. So we got this one back in 2019, just when we built Eurofighter and uh, it's been absolutely amazing but yeah we're just coming up here to Declan and the guys this is the fresh trailer a few changes with it which are a bit more suitable um, we'll run through the changes in a minute with Declan and uh, yeah this is our first time at trailer stuff so really cool place in an absolutely gorgeous part of Ireland it's actually my first time in Donegal a shame to say but um, really really nice place so uh, we'll meet Declan, have a look around trailer stuff. Uh, they've been supporting me now since 2019, as I mentioned. Really nice family. And uh, yeah, it's great to finally be here. have a look inside the shop huge stock everything trailer related specifically for Brian James they supply right out throughout the country of Ireland next day delivery really quick service very very tidy setup even with my own A4 open trailer which I use for a lot of local stuff in Ireland uh, anytime we needed parts the guys got them sent out we had them next day uh, really efficient service so if you ever need anything in Ireland trailer related check out trailerstuff.ie they have absolutely everything, sound bunch of lads and uh, now let's go out and meet Declan. We also have the Eurofighter here as well for a couple of pictures. Alright so this is the boss man Declan, now we have the, the fresh RT5. So what are the main main changes from the, the one we've been using for the last few years? Yeah well uh, both models pretty much the same, uh, a few additional features and this one here for you this time. So uh, this one here we fitted it with the... Uh, uh, the tire rack. Yeah, that's going to be my favourite thing anyway because we never, never have enough uh, space for tyres so it'll just take that extra bit out of the van. Yeah, um, so, so we have the tire rack and we have the premium front storage so it has these handy little uh, buttons and that for holding like your remote for your uh, winch and different things. Yeah, a few uh, spare bits you can fit in there yeah. which is handy. Yeah. Um, it has the full LED light kit on this trailer, so it has the interior lighting. Yeah. Um, it has the side reverse lights outside, and it also has the two exterior loading lamps. Yeah. Uh, which are a great feature for loading at night. Another um, thing I love about these is the, the floor yeah. storage. Good deep floor storage there for yeah. some of the parts that you might want access to all the time. Yeah, exactly. That we use discs or we used to keep a clutch and stuff, and stuff yeah. like that in there and half shafts and things like that. Yeah. So, some things you wouldn't be using all the time, so it's yeah. uh, it's ideal. And a fresh set of ramps as well, which is a... Uh, yeah, so these are the 2020 sister ramp. So uh, we'll see them in the car, I'll show you. Yeah. The door sits on top of these, so it actually protects the back of the door, or the top of the door, as well as giving you a nicer angle for loading. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So just some subtle changes that will make a yeah. difference. And uh, also the, the lights on the rear. When it's hooked up to the van and your parking lights is on and yeah. open the trailer, yeah. there's a, a limit switch up here. Ah, oh, sweet. That switches on the lights. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, they're an absolutely savage trailer. Yeah. And like I said, with the, the old RT5 that we've been using, we've not had any issues whatsoever in the, the three years using it and it's been around. Yeah, they're, they're, it's plenty of miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're, they're absolutely brilliant. I couldn't imagine using anything else now at this stage so uh yeah once again thanks thanks no, a million no for all the support and uh it's good to have you on board yeah yeah no it's a pleasure it's nice to have the car up here too for a few photos yeah. and uh yeah good times now we're gonna be pretty much hitting the road get back home to cork and uh load up the car load up the van uh, get everything ready and we're heading for europe time to get her in looks so fresh when they're new these ramps are a sweet job now as well. Lighter weight.
stuck in a boat for 16 or 18 hours, you take notice of everything. That man is there rotten. Who forgot to collect their man a couple of years ago? Just getting everything set up here. All the Falcon tires, drift cars in Europe on display. And that's Remo's Z car, which has the E92 M3 V8 supercharged. Uh, we walked around that car a couple of years ago. And uh, this is his brand new one series. And guess what it's gone for? Two Jay-Z. I feel like I've been an influence there. Then we got the M5 taxi car, Rohan's 6 Series. Bagsy's here with his GTR. They've just arrived now from the UK. So it's going to be absolutely awesome. We do our drift demo about 8 p.m. here local time, and uh, all the people that are camping around the North Life, which is packed, there's probably 200,000 people around the Nurburgring at the moment for this event. Um, there, a lot of them are going to come here and you'll see the grandstands will start filling up later on this evening and we should have a crowd going all the way around this whole arena we're going to be drifting this hairpin this should be absolutely packed with people here later tonight so it's a really cool experience uh, I've been coming here to the Norway ring since 2012 so it's great to be back with Falcon Tires once again and uh, yeah, we're gonna do our best to put on a great show, so. Hello. <laughs> I was like waiting to see if you saw oh, the video. Found a new helper today. Yeah, so I'm being super helpful this weekend. I've just been, I'm gonna be up in the commentary box with the commentator, giving some information about drifting. No tools, just pure raw talent. Mm -hmm. it. You got bubbles in it. Where? Nowhere. That's the bubble from whoever put the overlay on. <laughs> That's that, me. Very nice. We're just going to speed this clip up now. Okay, so we're in the car, ready to start the show, and there's a lot of people already. It's it's going to be pretty crazy. Like There's people just walking in because everyone knows the, the Falcon Drift show is about to start. See all the people rolling in. It's a lot of people. Let's have some fun, put on a show, and uh, enjoy the experience.
So, 24 hour race is just about to start. Such a huge crowd here, but we managed to uh, get on the track for a quick walkthrough and wish the Falcon team the best wishes. So, great experience. Enjoy it, lads. Savage, really cool. Yeah, very cool. So, now, 20 minutes till the race starts, 24 hours. Fireworks, it's a lot, but it's great, it's great to be back. 